let's take a look at how the lovely dashboard integrates with the Asher Racing steering wheels. I have the Asher Racing Artura Ultimate, but this will work with any Asher Racing steering wheel except the F64 uh, USB. I think it's that one. Um, but I will have a full list of all the compatible steering wheels where you can use this. So the idea is the steering wheels have a few functions where you can change a few features of the steering wheel directly on the wheel. Now, if you're running the lovely dashboard by now, you can't, like, if you want to change the bite point, you can do it, but only by assuming things. You have no visual indication of the actual bite point changing. If you want to calibrate the clutch, again, you don't have any visual indication. And if you want to change the analog input mode, so how do, you, do the paddles work? Is there throttle and brake? Are they slave and master? Are they master and slave? You still don't have any indication, visual indication. This happens either using the software, so you have to open the control center, the software that Asher Racing provides, or you can use a steering wheel and do them blindly and kind of remember what you're doing, right? Well, that's changing now. So I've worked with Martin Asher. This is a brand new firmware for the steering wheel, which firmware now works and talks to the lovely dashboard and the lovely dashboard does those visualizations for you so with the lovely dashboard if you have it installed you will be able to set your bite point you will be able to calibrate either left or right clutch if you want to change the calibration or you want to recalibrate it and you can also um, change the analog input mode of those paddles of the the clutches so you can change them from throttle and brake to slave and master or master slave left and right depending and now how does this thing work it's fairly simple the steering wheel has a few functions we're not changing those functions you can trigger the functions using specific keys bite point the right funky stick funky joystick whatever you want to call it if you hold it down for over a second the steering wheel goes into bite point mode before the lovely dashboard, all you had was a little LED indication showing that it's now in bite point mode, nothing else. But now, when you hold this down for a second, look at the lovely dashboard. Boom. So now, again, you'd only have this little LED here before, nothing else. Now, in the lovely dashboard, you get your steering wheel. And yes, if you're using the Sport, it will show the Sport image. If you're using um, the GT4, it will show you the GT4 and so forth, depending on what wheel. So it will be represented there with the graphics. And now here, it basically says fully depress the slave clutch because you want to set the bite point in this point. Um, so fully depress the, the, the slave clutch. Slave clutch is on the left. So when I fully depress it, you see it's 44.2. And now it also has some instructions the left funky switch switch rotary does go up and down by full percentage and the right one over here goes up by 0.1 so i can change my bite point by rotating this take it to 44.5 or i can lower it to 42.5 and obviously you can do whatever you want i'm keeping the clutch um fully depressed so the slave is fully depressed so i can see exactly its value at its at its, at its point its maximum point and I can change it just by doing that. I leave it, it's fine, it's set. I don't need to do anything else. All I have to do is to save the setting, just hold this the same exact way I got in, just hold it down for a second, and we are out. Done. That's one. The second thing you can do with the Lovely Dashboard is calibrate your paddles. Calibrating the paddles, it's, you'll probably do it like the first time you buy the steering wheel, but it's good to have it here. So how do you calibrate the paddles using the steering wheel alone? These two buttons calibrate the left clutch and these two buttons calibrate the right clutch. So when you enter clutch calibration mode, you only have three seconds, at which point you, you trigger this, it shows it to you and you pull the clutch all the way and the same thing for the right paddle and it saves it. So let's, let's do this really quick though. Goes into clutch calibration, I pull it, I let go and it goes away three seconds it's calibrated now you notice that when i pulled it fully it went up to what was it 43.45.8 which is where i had set the uh the slave that's why i have fully pulled the clutch though and for the right hand side 
you press it, you pull it, it's 100% because it's a master, and let go, and it's been calibrated. So now my, both my clutches are at zero and all the way depressed as I pull them. You can't really see it because the way the camera is set up, but it's like that. Uh, maybe I can do it for here. Just pull it. Right? So now they're at maximum. If I wanted, and why do we want to do this? So if I wanted to, I don't know how I can make this, you guys see it, but anyway. So if I were to pull the clutch halfway only, so I don't want to use the entire um, throw of the clutch, so I want to calibrate it so zero is at zero, but halfway through it goes to 100%, the maximum value, I would just go here, press this, pull it up until halfway through, and just wait. It's done. So now my clutch reaches 100% halfway through, and I can sh see that by basically clicking on the um, bite point set, and I can see the right hand side. It's going to go to 100%, and I still have ways to go. So that's how you do the entire process of calibrating your, your paddles. Of course, for me, it's just pulling it all the way, and you're done. Of course, the dashboard actually recognizes left and right clutch, so when you do the left clutch, it lets you know, pull the left clutch all the way, done. And the right clutch as well, pull the right clutch, and you're done. And the last thing that we've added to the Love the Dashboard is changing the analog input mode. So these two paddles currently are on the left-hand side is the slave, and on the right-hand side is the master. But I can also use them as throttle and brake, or I can swap them out and have master on the left and slave on the right. And how do you do that? So these two buttons here, doesn't matter if it's plus or minus, these two buttons here on the steering wheel, when you hold them down, it goes into analog input mode. And from here, once we go in, we have 10 seconds to select the mode of the paddles. And you'll see it here. Okay, and it says tap here. And when you tap it once, now it's throttle and brake. Tap it again, it's slave and master. Tap it again, it's master and slave. Now, if I don't press these things again, 10 seconds will go by, it will exit and it will not save the mode. The only way to save the new mode is if you hold these down. And let me just show you, just so you can see how this thing will change. If I go into the bite point mode, my left paddle goes up to 45.8 because it's currently slave. The right is 100%. Let's change it around and swap them out. All right, let's get out of here. Go into this mode and select master and slave. Press these two, it's saved. Now if I go into the bite point mode, you'll see that the left goes to 100 and the right goes to 45.8. So I swapped them out. Let's swap them back now. Let's make them actually now, let's convert them to throttle and brake. And you'll see the difference here. Go into this mode, hit it once, throttle and brake. Hit these things twice, uh, again. Now it's saved. Now if I go into bite point mode, you'll see that left goes to 100. Right. Actually, no, it's not reading now because now it's a brake. It's a different input and this does not read that. But it goes up to 100 as well because there's no bite point now to set. It's only reading the left-hand side because that's the only one it's reading. It's the clutch basically previously known as clutch. Um, but you can see it's not reading the right-hand side, which means it's actually changed. So now it's throttle and brake. But I always like to have slave and um, master. So I will go back into this mode. One, two, it's slave and master. Hit these two buttons and I'm done. One last thing for this mode though, and this is important. When you go into this mode, if I go one, two, three, and hit it a fourth time, it tells me it needs to start over. There's an invalid number of clicks. So it doesn't loop through the modes. It goes one, two, three, and four and over. You have to basically wait for it to exit. Or if you go in here, one, two, three, four, start over, invalid number of clicks, you can just exit by holding these, and you go back in and you can set it up again. So this is coming. 2.6.6 this Friday for all lovely members and it will be available for everyone publicly end of May ish ish I say ish because I have so much to do I'm just hoping to be able to get that release out for everyone end of May so this is the first manufacturer embedded into the lovely dashboard so if you own any Artura wheel now imagine why this is important if you have and obviously you can have the dashboard on the steering wheel. It'll be the same thing. It makes no difference. The, the, the dashboard, you can have it three times. You can have it anywhere, anywhere you want. It will work, okay? 
So it doesn't make a difference if it's on a dashboard or on a steering wheel. It will respond and it will show you the same information. So you can use it on your Ultimate. But let's say you don't have the Ultimate. You have the Sport, which doesn't have a screen. If you have a DDU, you're covered. Same buttons do the same thing on the Sport. In fact, the same buttons do everything throughout the wheel. The only one that doesn't have a bite point setting because it doesn't have the funky switches is the GT4. All the other Arturo wheels have the same functionality. So you don't need a screen to do this anymore, and you don't need the app anymore either. As long as you're running Lovey Dashboard somewhere on your system, the Lovey Dashboard will show you all of these, um, all of this information for you. So that has been integrated, married into the uh, Lovey Dashboard, and will be shipped end of this week and end of the month for everyone.